The CES 2020 Arcade 1UP reveals have already been shown and uh, I'm really amazed by what I saw. I thought they hit a home run. I thought everything that they introduced that was brand new was a great new offering. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pick what I think is my top three. I'm going to try to be as objective as possible. Um, but I also want to hear your opinion. So please, when you're done watching this video, uh, let me know what you are excited about and what you want to see coming out in the future. Before I start, it's probably fair to add some honorable mentions to this list because, like I said before, there were so many great offerings. Um, we'll give a couple of honorable mentions. And the first one's going to be the Pac-Man 40th Anniversary Cabinet. Right off the bat, you can see the wood grain. It looks very, very good. Um, I don't think too many of us want to go back to the wood styling of the 70s and early 80s. But this definitely still looks good. And uh, it has a riser. It has a lighting marquee. It has packed land. And it also has Galaga. Which, to be honest, I kind of feel there should have been a Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galaga bundle from the beginning. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, that would cause rk one up to lose, you know, other opportunities to make other great cabinets. It just would have been nice if it was available. Um, so yeah, uh, when I first saw the leak, I didn't like it as much. It was kind of a, a blurry picture. I already have the HSN version that comes with the marquee and the custom riser. So I really wasn't really uh, aching to have it too much, but when I saw these great pictures coming out, I kind of thought about it like maybe I should get that maybe I should sell the one that I have now but for now I'm going ahead and I'm going to keep the one I have now moving on as a collector I always like something to be limited and a little harder to get and uh, that's what I really like about this burger time it's only going to be available online and they're only going to make about 3,000 of them so um, as a collector, that kind of kind of grabbed me a little bit. Unfortunately, uh, I never really played. I mean, I, I did play Burger Time, but I really didn't enjoy it as much as Galaga or Pac-Man or some of the other arcade games at that time. Um, but I think they did a really, really great job. Look at the uh, form factor. Look at the side panels. It is custom. It is different. It reminds me a lot of... Uh, the Star Wars cabinet, it has a lighted marquee. It has a, the riser, the riser, I feel they could do a little better job. It looks a little bit busy, but uh, the control deck looks amazing and the bezel looks amazing. And I think anybody who picks this up, especially if you love those games, Karate Champ, Bad Dudes, I forget the fourth one, but uh, I think this is gonna be a really, really great item. And it may be one of the few arcade one ups in three or four years that might be worth more than it costs brand new. So it'll be real interesting to keep an eye on that to see where the value is going to be on a secondary market uh, because 3000 isn't a lot according to what I believe your average unit uh, sells. I thought Marvel's 8000 was a little bit too much to be limited edition. Uh, 3000 sounds about right. So great job at Arcade One Up making something different. And most importantly, being humble enough and, and showing humility to listen to the fans and give us what we want. All we're going to do is give you more of our money if you listen to what we what we what we're asking for. So a big, big, big thumbs up to Arcade One Up for this cabinet. I think it looks great, and I think you know if you pick this up and this is your uh, cup of tea, man, it, it's it's a great looking cabinet. Okay, starting off the list. Number three, the Golden Axe, the Revenge of Death Adder. Um, to be honest, of all the offerings that were made available, this is going to be the one I get first. And again, this is me trying to be not biased, okay? Number one, I think the list of games is pretty good. You have Golden Axe, uh, Golden Axe, the Revenge of Death Adder, Alter Beast, Wrestle War, and Shinobi. And it's funny because we were kind of talking, me and my friends, 
and people were talking about or having rumors that a Sega machine would be made, and none of them were including Shinobi, and I was like, man, how can you not include Shinobi? To me, that was a really big staple at most arcades. We all loved playing it, and uh, I'm very glad to see it here. The one that I am confused that is there is Wrestle War. I'm also confused because the, the display of the game is horizontal. So, um, or not horizontal, vertical. So that's a little perplexing. I wish instead they would have included a Space Harrier. I think that would have been a better fit. But again, kind of like, you know, we were talking about Pac-Man. Maybe there's another Sega arcade that's in the works or, you know, that we don't know about. And they got to save other, you know, other great classic Sega games for that. Uh, another thing that, you know, I was kind of thinking is it would have been great. I mean, it is great to have one four-player game and to have the four-player four um, cabinet. But it would be also great to have uh, more than one four-player game. And I was trying to think really hard of a great Sega player uh, four-player game. And the only one I can really think of is uh, their Spider-Man game. Uh, I know there's some people that really don't like it. But like I said, it just would have been nice. They could have got rid of Wrestle War. They could have got rid of, you know, one of the first the Golden Axe or Alter Beast. Just because these have been ported so often that, you know, do I really want to play Alter Beast when I played it? On the Sega Genesis in the arcade and I played it on the PS3 I think I might even have it on the PS4 probably not and I don't think this game has been uh, ported before so just like uh, the Revenge of Death Adder this would have been an amazing uh, game to have also but overall like I said this is the number one thing on my list I gotta have it um, and uh, yeah unless it's backed up to December and uh, maybe I'll get a pinball in, in May, but I think those are supposed to come out also in December. So I really don't see uh, anything else uh, getting my money before, before uh, this cabinet does. Coming in at number two, and of all the new releases at CES, CES 2020, uh, this cabinet is probably uh, the one I played the most, NBA Jam. And one of the things that Arcade One Up surprised everybody with is this new live feature. And it allows you to play with other players online. This adds a ton of replayability to the cabinet. Because this these kind of games, while they're great, if you're by yourself, you can get really repetitive and boring. Uh, the only question I would have is I'm wondering if, if you're gonna set up some kind of uh, you know online account. Where you'll be able to, you know, have uh, friends or, or, you know, personal online IDs to where if you want to play a friend that lives in Arizona and you're in California, will you be able to link up that way? Or is it just going to be totally by random and uh, whoever, you know, chooses to join your game or if you choose to join their game, that's just the way it's going to be. Either way, even if, if you can't you know, look out to hook up with your friends and play this this cabinet. It, it's a really great idea. There is no monthly service fee or an additional fee. So it's really a great value. It could easily been number one on my list. Unfortunately, I'm not really a NBA fan as much as I used to be. I'm more of a, you know, a combat guy now. But, you know, the, the lighter marquee, the brand new riser, the graphics on the side look well, and um, the control panel looks great. So I, I could definitely see if I'm not, you know, having any bias and be objective that this is a great cabinet. It's going to look really good if you already have an Arcade One lineup at your house or it's going to be your first one. If you have like a, a sports man cave, this is perfect for it. Uh, it's going to probably going to be around 400 bucks. Okay, and the number one brand new offering from RK One Up at CES 2020 are their pinball machines. Now, a couple of days before the show, there was a leak of the Star Wars RK One Up, and I'm only kind of kind of going to talk about that one because in a lot of ways, both of these cabinets or pinball machines are are similar, right? And to be honest. It really didn't look uh, 
that good. You know, when I saw it in just the picture. Um, but when I saw the video, when I saw, you know, it looked just a little bit better. Like, if I was to give it a C in the picture, I thought it was more of a B plus A minus when I saw it in the video. And if I didn't think they would be coming out with a Marvel uh, version of the pinball machine, I probably would already be thinking that I'm going to get the Star Wars cabinet. And to be honest, there's still a chance that I'm going to pick up uh, the Star Wars cabinet. But I'm going to try to hold out and try to wait for a Marvel one to come out. I think it looks good. I think the legs, the legs kind of look cheap in the picture. Um, when I saw it in the video, it looked a lot better. It looked a lot taller. Um, the bezel looks small. Um, there was just so much to like about it. The, the, the front panel lights up. And I think you even switch artwork out. So maybe you could upgrade it in the future. Maybe not. Even if you can't, it's still a beautiful presentation. It cannot be compared to a five to seven thousand uh, pinball machine, but this is definitely not a toy shock uh, pinball. If you've seen those, uh, not to be harsh, not to be ultra critical, but you couldn't give me one of those. I my my man cave has no room for that kind of quality uh, digital uh, pinball machine, if that's even the right term. Um, so when I saw these, I was kind of honestly kind of expecting the same, and these are not. These are on a whole nother level. They're 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 kind of beautiful. They're, I mean, it's a really nice package, and I think this is not by far, but I think um, depending on your perspective, uh, this is the number one new offering, and I'm very excited to see what other IPs they're gonna get. And uh, the downloads, uh, you know, they're talking about having a worldwide leaderboard, uh, tournaments. There's lots of things that are gonna, these things are going to be capable of because they're going to have Wi-Fi connectivity. So uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And any kind of comments, leave below. I, I love talking to you guys. And subscribe if you want more.